Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're gonna make a pretty quick video. I have to hop in a little bit, so hopefully this video won't take too long. But we got a new influx or a new package of cards today, so I'm pretty excited. I got out of work early, picked these up at the post office. They put them on hold to God. It, mean, it has to mean that this is important. Ooh, it's real stuck in there. Give me a sec. This, this package was very securely wrapped. It was in this little green, this is like cardboard, I forgot, like construction paper, I would say. And then it came in this hard um, folder as well. So there's definitely something important here. I would assume, but I could be wrong as well. It could be low-key buns, but who knows? There we go. And it looks like they weren't any women hard covers. They're all in just hard sleeves. Uh-oh. Okay. These are all still uh, taped together. So we'll go through the first batch and then the second batch um, in a little bit. Here we go. Maybe it's something good. Who knows? We'll see. We'll find out. That's the excitement of uh, ordering cards and then never knowing what you're going to get until you actually you know, receive them. So let's see. All right. First up on the docket, we have a Gallade. This is a Hollow Rare. Eh, okay. We got a Pyro Hollow, a Cresselia Hollow. And these, oh, that's a Reverse Hollow, actually. Oh, there's, there's cards behind them. All right, hold on. Pause. There is more cards behind them. Let's see. We have to pull it out one by one, and we'll, we'll sleeve them up later. But we have a Pyroar, and then we have a Suian Basque Legion. So these are both hollow rares. I wonder if today's going to be good. Let me see. It might be kind of lame. We'll see. Gallade hollow rare. Ooh, okay. We got a Flapple, Flapple Cosmo hollow foil. Nothing good so far. This will be interesting. It looks like I got an Arita there, so that's good. Reverse Hollow Cresselia. Chandelure Hollow. <clears throat> Guessing these are pretty cheap, so I probably picked them up. Maybe like 25 cents a piece. This one's double sleeved, which is perfect. We got a beautiful Arita card. Let's check the conditioning. It's a little fat on the bottom. This one will probably go in my personal collection now I'm looking at it. It's too off-centered. It's not going to get a 10. So yeah, this one is one for the personal binder. I'll take that, that's fine. And Arita is a very solid card. We have a Mew V, it looks like. What else? Mew V, and you can get these in like a lot of the, um, there's a Mew box. So this one's really easy to get this Mew, so it's not really like, too expensive. Got an Espeon V, this is also comes from the tin. It's a little, a little messed up at top. Um, definitely not near mint, but it is what it is. Decent condition still. Let's see what else we got. We have a Z Zisu in near mint. This one's in pretty good copy. And then we have finally a Suian Lilligant. A Suian Lilligant. This one's also in a sleeve, which is good. And that's a pretty cool card. There we go. Decent stuff on the first half. The reader card is worth like $30 in itself, so that's the big plus. The rest of it, I don't know, and I'm not sure how much I paid for it, so this will be really interesting to find out. Um, it didn't come with a packing slip, so I have no idea how much I paid. But I'll probably check the... I'll probably check the um, receipt in a little bit. I'm guessing not too much. Again, I got these, like, in a bundle, so... It was somewhat of a deal there. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Here we go. Next. Next, we have a Suian Samurai. This card's actually really cool because it's a pre-release card. So that's really, really cool. We have an Absol Reverse Hollow. Not horrible. Okay, but these are a little thicker. So this might be more cards in here than... Oh my. These are tight. Okay. It looks like two cards. First, we have a Heatran V. That's pretty cool. Got the nice rainbow. Dude, is this... I think this came in the same package as the Arita. Look how off-centered it is. These are real off-centered. Um, not, like, completely, completely off-centered, but, like, 80-20. That's, like, not good. Um, got a Gardevoir. That's pretty sweet. I usually pick these cards up because even though they're really, really inexpensive, I think that maybe in the future they'll go up in value just because of how nice they look. 
Perhaps. I could be totally wrong. I'm just shooting shooting the dark at this point, you know. Oh, these weren't sleeved. We have a Sylveon V. Gotta love the EV Lucian cards. The Suing Lilligant Hollow. Decent card. Doesn't seem like I bought anything too good here. I don't know. Maybe I just bought it just because it was like inexpensive. Who knows? Ooh, okay, we got the Umbreon. There it is. The Cosmo Hollow Foil. This is you this Umbreon you get out of a three blister pack of Evolving Skies, so. And I'm surprised I'm surprised it's actually worth a decent amount just because I guess Umbreon is a very popular Pokemon. So I mean it's pretty cool. It's not bad. Not the greatest card in the world, but like a three dollar card nonetheless. Mess bit reverse hollow. Mesprit reverse. Boom, boom, boom. What do you got here? All right. Again, probably not the good, not the, nothing good because it's not sleeved. Ooh, that's actually kind of cool. Ooh, that. Do you see that? That's actually pretty bad. There is like straight lines down the, the bottom of this. Printing error lines. But this is a Weavile uh, Cosmo Hollow Foil. It's pretty cool, honestly. Um, With the lines there, it's not very cool. Then we have a Worder. Astro Radiance pre-release that's not bad i like the pre-release cards looks like we got some eevees eevee hollow promo and i believe this came with the blister too i'm not sure okay we have a slacking full art from pokemon go that's pretty cool and then for our last couple cards we have a verse hollow tapu fini and then another Hisuian Basque Legion, but this one's Astral Radiance pre-release. So I guess the highlight of this was just strictly the Arita. This one will be going into my personal collection. Um, but other than that, I think that's all we're gonna have today. Uh, I have a few more packages coming in the mail. Maybe it'll be really good, maybe it won't, but Pokemon cards are getting expensive. The, the uh, Scarlet and Violet Pokemon set is coming up and that's gonna be a little more expensive on the MSRP So we're gonna see how much money we want to invest in that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace